Good morning. Today we're here at Aldi. We're going to go and check out some of the prices, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Since we come into Aldi here, I just wanted to point out, I noticed their water went up. These uh, Pure Aqua 24 packs, they were $3.19, now they are $3.29. Got some more of them here, and their spring water is now $3.79. These were $3.49 not that long ago. Do notice that they have some of the sparkling frost waters here. Some people were telling me to try these out, that they were even better and a little cheaper than the sparkling ice. I think I will give a couple of them a try here. They have the black raspberry. Orange mango sounds pretty good. Yeah, they are only 55 cents a piece. Uh, got a pretty good feeling I'm gonna like these. I'm gonna go ahead and get an extra black raspberry. That's my favorite of the sparkling ice drinks. So the Willow Thick and Soft toilet paper continues to go up here. This was $20.99. It, it seems like it goes up a dollar every week or two. $22.99 now for 30 rolls. So somebody on the channel commented on our last video at Aldi that your russet potatoes were almost $7 for 10 pounds. They are still $5.79 here, but I know all across the city they've been going up lately, so I'll have to keep an eye on this. One good deal is their yellow onions, two nineteen for a three pound bag. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, we've the cheapest we've seen other than these is two forty nine for a three pound bag. So Aldi still wins on this one. Somebody wanted me to check on the bite sized medley potatoes. You know it's been a while since our Aldi has had these in. They are three nineteen. That is up from two ninety five. The last time we saw them here, it's been a while though. The dole heads of lettuce here have dropped four cents. These were $1.39 the last time we were here. Now they're $1.35. Aldi is kind of weird with numbers in those few cents. They must work out new contracts or something. I did want to point out the Dole Celery here, $1.29. We've been seeing these at places like Meyer go over $2 for a thing of celery. So good deal here. Cabbage is starting to get pretty expensive here at Aldi. The last time we were here, it was $0.49 cents a pound. Um... Trying to see if this was 69 cents for the whole thing. I do not think so, but it doesn't say 69 cents per pound. Um, but I believe it is. They do have their three pack peppers, uh, $2.99, which is a great price. That's a dollar a piece. Uh, we've been seeing these really high in the stores lately. Uh, some stores have been having sales on them, uh, but the highest we saw was at Meyer, $1.69 for one. So $2.99 for three is a great deal. Some of these Aldi saver deals, they do have the cantaloupes for $1.99, that's usual. But one thing that did go up is the strawberries. Now strawberries, when they're on the Aldi savers deal, uh, that has been $1.49. That is up at $1.69 on the savings, so a little more than it's really ever been. Look at this, Aldi saver deal, $3.39 for three pound oranges. That's up from what the sale would be at $2.49. So that's almost up a dollar from the last time we saw these on the Aldi Saver deal. They have Jessica's favorite chocolate brioche loaf here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get her one of these bad boys. This is delicious. If you've never tried this, it's pretty fantastic. She puts it in the microwave for about five seconds just to kind of melt the chocolate in there. Ooh, really good. So the specialty bread here did used to be $3.95. It has gone. It's been $4.45 for a little while, but I just wanted to point it out. They do have the vanilla cream uh, loaf too, and they're both $4.45. So I've never tried the s'mores cookies before. I gotta say, these look pretty good. Um, I do remember they were $2.99 a while back. They are $3.49 now. And I do believe that's the same with the kitchen sink cookies. I uh, don't see a price on them. And they don't have a tag. This this here is for these bake shop little mini donuts, 16 ounce, three dollars and thirty nine cents. They do have the three pound bag of mandarins here for three dollars and fifty nine cents. So it's not the cuties, but they're the same thing. Cuties are four ninety nine everywhere, and we've been seeing that that's going to go up too. I believe cuties, yeah, they're four ninety nine at Kroger. I believe they're five forty nine right now at Meyer. So definitely way cheaper than there. Even though we've been seeing red cherries at a pretty good deal in a lot of stores around here, regular price on them here is $3.49, which is a good regular price. Because when they go off regular price at like Kroger and Meyer, they're gonna be uh, four or five ninety nine at Kroger a pound and nine eighty nine a pound at Meyer, which is ridiculous. 
But I do want to point out they are pretty much out of them here. The whole white mushrooms and the white sliced mushrooms both went up 10 cents. This was $1.49, this was $1.79. So did want to show the shredded wheat went up 10 cents too. Seeing a lot of things that have gone up 10 cents since the last time we've been here. The frosted shredded wheat was $1.49, now it's $1.59. Uh, Raisin bran still the same. Corn flakes are still $1.43. Crispy oats. Wow, those went up. Those were $1.79. Uh, yeah, yeah, crispy oats here. I was looking at that for a second. Honey nut Cheerios. Wow, 4 dollars Well, that's a large size box. So that's not too bad, I guess. But yeah, crispy oats went up $0.20. Cents, $1.79 to $1.99. And, and this used to be $1.49. But it just keeps going up. We do see that they have their oats back in here, the Millville oats. Uh, they were out the last time we were here. They were completely out. We do notice that the price went up a dollar almost. These were $2.55 for the old fashioned and the quick oats. $2.55 a piece. Now they are $3.49 a piece. Did notice that they have their saltine crackers back in, but look at this. $1.12. That is up from $0.95, cents, which was up from $0.85 cents a little uh, a couple months ago. $0.85. Or it was $0.88. Cents, sorry. $0.88 cents went up to 95 Now it's $1.12. Not that it's, you know, I mean, it's if it goes up $0.10 cents every week or two. You know, that starts to, starts to get pretty crazy. They do have the uh, party size Oreos back in for $5.68. That's the same price. Uh, they have $1.99 down there for the Benton's uh, Oreo-style cookies. Um, yeah, it's been that for a while. A lot of the cookies here are still the same price as they were the last time we were here, but good to see that they're getting more in. They were down to the last couple wafer boxes. We got good comments on the Benton's Vanilla Wafers. Only $2.15 here. $4.99 for the Nabisco uh, Vanilla Wafers at Kroger, so definitely way cheaper. Um, and they definitely, yeah, they, they've got a lot of the cookies coming back in here. I wanted to kind of scroll back around here. The Millville Variety Pack, Maple Brown Sugar Instant Oatmeal. They are out of all of these. All of them. They are all gone. They're down to their last two boxes of Pop-Tarts. All the Millville Fruit and Grains. Now, this ain't too surprising because they've been out of these for a little while. But just wanting to point some of these out. A lot of Millville products are missing here. And, um... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, wait. Here's a lot more Pop-Tarts. <laughs> they even have the toaster tarts down here. Uh, $1.78 compared to $3.28 of the 12 Pop-Tarts. Never had the toaster tarts before, but... I'm, you know, I'm not really a huge fan of Pop-Tarts. Jessica likes the cherry ones, but that's about it. All of their cheaper breads are still the same price. They have the Lovin' Fresh Italian Bread for $2.19, which... This was a dollar ninety nine a loaf a little over a month ago, so it has gone up, but it's been a little while. Uh, they do have the white bread here for ninety nine cents, and what's funny is, <laughs> you know, I thought this was a mistake, but I guess not. The honey wheat bread is ninety eight cents. Usually, wheat bread is a little more than the white bread. I don't know, but they do have the love and fresh split top wheat bread for a dollar thirty five. Now, somebody was asking if our Aldi was limiting people on products. This is one I see here they're limiting people to. I know we've been getting comments all across the country that they've been limiting a lot of products to people. So I'll keep my eye out for these, but this is the only one I've seen so far. Someone requested that I check some of the prices on the Tandle laundry detergent. Um, so they have different ones, I guess. Okay, compared to Tide, this one is 64 loads for $10.49. It used to be less than $10, but... I don't know, nothing really surprises me with these prices anymore because it all seems to go up. $5.99 for the Tandle Fresh Essentials uh, laundry detergent there. They do have the smaller Tide with the OxyClean and the Clean Fresh, $3.24. That's actually a pretty good price on Tide too because those have been going up lately. Then they have one compared to Gain, $6.99 for this one. This is also 64 loads. They do have Tandle fabric softener here for $3.49 for 51 ounces. 51 ounces of downy is $4.97, so about $1.50 cheaper. It does look like every time I come here, they're getting more and more pet food in. They've got more dry food here. You know, they never really carry too much, but at least they have some. Uh, they've got some dog food, the pure being. Uh, $1.79 a can. It's 
seems a little pricey. Uh, they do have these. Now, somebody's compared these little heart-to-tail packets to the Caesar packets that we find in the stores. $1.40 for this in the store. Kroger, Meyer, $1.49 at Target of the Caesar packets. Now, these, $0.65. Cents. So, you're getting two of these for the price of one in the stores now. Um, and that's, of course, if your pet likes it, I guess. I did want to point out that the ones that are compared to Fancy Feast here, the heart-to-tail, uh, cat entrees did go up from 45 cents to 55 cents and now this has gone up twice this was 38 cents went up to 42 cents now 54 cents a can becoming less and less of a deal flour has really shot up here at aldi from $1.56 to $2.12 that's pretty expensive for uh, baker's choice Wow, we see where their sugar has gone up again. It's gone from 237 to 251. Wow, that's one of the most expensive. Now, now Kroger's was 239 for their smidge and spoon sugar. That just went up to 259. So, yeah, I don't know. I think all these stores are watching each other. But 251 for that, I don't know. They do have some things of 14 pound cat litter for $4.89 right here. We've been getting more and more comments that cat litter has been very low in, in some of your stores across the country. So I guess we're gonna have to start pointing it out again. It's been low here too. Uh, we saw it was low at Walmart and a couple other places. So we'll have to keep an eye on it again. I figured since I was checking on the oil, $3.15 for the vegetable oil, $3.45 for the canola oil. This stuff continues to rise in price. Well, look at this. They got the red bag chicken in. Grabbing a couple of those. Back here to one of my favorite spots. We've got the salmon, same price. Knock on wood. Atlantic salmon side here, $8.49 a pound. They do have this cut up pieces here, $8.69 a pound. Random weights here. I mean, this big piece for $9.21 seems like a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, and they got the jumbo raw peeled shrimp here. $9.89 a pound. Got the baby back pork ribs here for $4.49 a pound. That is up from $3.49 a pound not that long ago. Still got the pork shoulder center cut pork or center cut pork chops here, $4.29 a pound. That's about regular as it is everywhere. They do have the assorted pork chops here for $2.89 a pound. And yes, as to where that's comparable to a lot of places, look at these bad boys. These are fantastic. That's about as fresh as you can get. They do also have the family pack chicken breast here for $2.89 a pound, which is, you know, that's about as good of a best deal as we're going to find, I think, even when it's on sale. I did just notice, though, limit two here. They do have their value family value pack uh, drum legs here for $1.49 a pound. Looks like chicken thighs are up to $2.19 a pound. Those were $1.49 also the last time we were here, so... I really don't know, but yeah, I mean, drumstick, they don't have, they got a good amount of drumsticks. I don't see any thighs. They do have these whole young chickens that somebody has to ask about here. The Purdue, uh, $6.99 per pound. So, oh, wait a minute. No, it says $1.87 per pound. These weigh 3.75 pounds for $6.99. Well, if that's actually the case and this sticker is correct, that's a great deal. They do have boneless, skinless, chicken thighs but I don't see them these are drum legs also they got way more drum legs than they can handle and no thighs I mean they do have some of the organic simply nature products here uh, let's see these are $7.49 a pound you are gonna pay a little more for these but they have the organic thin sliced chicken breast fillets here $6.79 a pound uh, chicken breast strips $6.99 a pound they have kept their meat, their hamburger, the same price. The 80-20 actually dropped. That was $4.29 a pound there for a while. Back down to $3.99. Back down to $2.99 for the 73% lean. Um, yeah, it's good to see some things drop in price. Uh, the stew meat, they did got some back there. That's actually on a Aldi Saver. You know, it's funny. We've seen stew meat kind of skyrocket at all the stores. It's like $6.99 to $7.99 uh, a pound. It's always been $5.49 here, and they've even lowered it even more. $5.29 a pound, that's great. Aldi saver deal on their ribeyes, too, down 50 cents. You know, not much, but 50 cents is 50 cents. 
wanted to check out some of the Aldi finds deals here. The here today, gone tomorrow. Well, it seems like this Olive Garden dressing is going nowhere. Oh, that's the Tuscan Garden. That's really good. Now, we compared these in a video one time. Um, I couldn't really taste too much of a difference. I actually thought that this one was a little more flavorful. Uh, I believe Jessica liked the Olive Garden, but she likes them both. I do have some products here for a little cheaper. Honest Kids Grape Juice Organic. Uh, goodness Grapeness. <laughs> $2.99 for that. I always love going down this aisle. Um, people always request that I do, so I figure we'll do this more often. Try and find some some good deals here. I don't know if every Aldi is different. Um, you know, if you've been to Aldi recently, let me know if you're seeing some of these products here that we're seeing. 505 Western uh, Flame Roasted Green Chili. Hmm. $3.98 for that. Got the Kraft Garlic or Chipotle Aioli for $2.98. This seems a little pricey for... What, that's only four of them? Oh, it's some kind of special Gatorade. Gatorade G Protein four-pack for $6. Wanted to point out this Gold Peak Tea. I showed this at Family Dollar the other day. Someone couldn't believe it, it was $4.99. $2.48 here for the same thing. Okay, well, I think I found what you were looking for here. Somebody asked about the Peanut Delight No Sugar Added Creamy Peanut Butter. I haven't seen it in the regular peanut butter aisle here. I guess this is where it's been hiding. $2.25 for that. So, yeah, check out the uh, Aldi Finds aisle here at Aldi. And uh, hopefully they got it. Okay, so I can't have coconut, but somebody had asked if I had seen the Toasted Coconut Ground Coffee by the Barissimo here at uh, Aldi. They do have it here. 12 ounces, $3.99. I haven't seen it in the regular aisle. I haven't seen it here either, so I don't know if they just got it in and maybe might be discontinuing it, so I would check to make sure. Another funny thing, I have never seen Starbucks coffee here at Aldi. $7.99 for 12 ounces is actually a good regular price because $9.99 is what it is at Kroger now. Um, they do have another one here, Salted Caramel, which is... Uh, Part of the barissimo brand too which we love i love the donut shop barissimo but yeah i can't have that allergic to coconut i just kind of walked past this here and i wanted to explain it for a minute they do so the two dollars and thirty cents things of pringles here are the party stacks these are the bigger ones these are like 249 in a lot of stores right now now a dollar 89 for the regular size pringles it's too much i'll never i buy it when it's on sale but one thing i will say these Clancy's, somebody said they taste exactly like Pringles. Let me tell you, they do not. They, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, I did a taste test in a video of this one and the cheddar cheese, which they don't have right now. Um, and they were 95 cents. 95 cents a can then, and that was up from 85 cents a can. So to see it go up to $1.12, I, I don't know. I, I would rather spend the $2 on a can of Pringles. These, they, they don't taste anything like Pringles, if you ask me. Okay, so I wanted to come over and check the peanut butter over here. It is the same price as on all these. Um, all these at Aldi's. <laughs> uh, these did go up from $1.59 to $1.69, but it's been a little while for the 16 ounce. And these, of course, were $2.95 there for a while, and they are up to $3.39. As we can see, though, they don't have the lower sugar over here, not having a home for it. Uh, so it is in the Aldi finds deal. So I would definitely check that out if that's something you're looking for. And I would buy up a few if you see them because it doesn't look like they're going to be uh, making it anymore. All the cans prices of things here are the same. They got the Vienna sausages, Brookdale uh, here for 55 cents. These are really good. If you like me, if you like the Armour Vienna sausages, you will love these. I usually buy up. <laughs> I have a bunch already. So uh, I like to, you know, when I go out camping or something, it's good to take a couple cans of that with you. Uh, just a snack on now uh, the chunk chicken breast these were $2.49 a can now it's been a little over a month they've been $3.19 for a while but somebody was asking me to check that you couldn't find this at your store and you had seen that they had gone up in price we saw the same thing we saw it was like empty I had a feeling it was going to be going up in price sure enough the next time we were here it was up from $2.49 and they've had plenty of it and they still have their tuna in oil and water, 77 cents a can. That's pretty cheap. We've got comments that this is great tuna. 
doing a quick glance over the beans here i did notice that the dakota pride original or the homestyle beans they go up in price these ones here $1.69 these were $1.59 which was up from $1.49 like a couple months ago um and yes yeah, some of these have gone up wow the chili with beans here these were uh 71 cents was one of those weird numbers now it's gone up five cents a can um a couple of these yeah these were 71 cents too the kidney beans now they're 76 cents a lot of the happy harvest vegetables uh still 58 cents a piece uh 58 cents a can for the green beans corn peas um which is good but i have a feeling those might be going back those might go up here soon i don't know it seems like they kind of follow walmart's great value prices on canned goods because we saw when they were 50 cents a piece they went up to 54 cents so did walmart now walmart's is 58 cents a piece for their canned vegetables uh and 58 cents here so it seems like they kind of just follow each other here's one of those really funny numbers here now this was 61 cents uh, and the sliced carrots were 61 cents here. The mixed vegetables, Happy Harvest, now they're 62 cents. So it's gone up one penny. Explain that one. Somebody had left on the channel, and it does kind of make sense that they'd have a new contract and they would have to raise it up a penny. Aldi always tries to keep the best prices that they possibly can, and they do. I mean, it's still a lot of the things in here are significantly cheaper than a lot of the grocery stores. Um, this is a two pound is this two pounds yeah two pounds 32 ounces of the pinto beans here for $1.79 now this would be like the price for a pound in a lot of grocery stores so still way cheaper and I will say a lot of the taco shells are missing here too they do have the Pueblo Lindo uh, uh, Casera style tostadas we got some comments on these a while back uh, couldn't find them at Kroger they do have them here uh, and they do have some of the seasoning, but one of the biggest things that we're dealing with right now, taco shells. Uh, we've been seeing that they've been very low or out again in a lot of the stores. Good to see they're getting more bacon. And the last time I was here, they were pretty much out of bacon. We get a lot of comments on the Appleton Farms. They have a lot of the uh, thick cut bacon back in. They didn't have any of that. $4.19 a pack for one pound. Uh, they also got a bunch of hot dogs here. The Park View. Um, uncured beef franks for three dollars and 69 cents but they had eckridge here too but i guess they don't i think they used to they do have the nathan's uh, eight nathan's hot dogs all beef hot dogs for four dollars and 86 cents and a variety of other ones last time i was here i got some comments to check the irish butter it is still the same price surprisingly uh three dollars and 35 cents or 45 cents three dollars and 45 cents for the countryside creamery pure irish butter eight ounces uh, and they have the uh, spreadable Irish butter here, 7.5 ounces for $3.39. Friendly Farms yogurt. Somebody had mentioned this on the channel that it had gone up on the uh, low fat yogurts here. Now, the Greek, uh, the non fat Greek yogurt has stayed the same. Those are still 59 cents a piece. But yes, these were 39 cents and they have gone up to 49 cents a piece here. Hey, Danimal. Like their orange juice has gone up too. The Nature's Nectar, not from Concentrate, 285 for the different varieties here. These were 275, so another item up 10 cents. So they still have the milk for $1.88 a gallon here at R Aldi, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, now the dozen eggs did go up. They continue to fluctuate here at R Aldi. We've seen them. Uh, they were $1.95 months ago, and then they went up to $2.19. Then they went back down to like 209. Now they're up to 249. They were 239 a couple weeks ago when we were here. So 249 now, up 10 cents. I think I pointed this out the last time we were here, but the chef's covered products, the chunky chicken soup, did go from $1.46 a can to $1.54. I think I went over this too. This has gone up a couple times. I think they were off a penny on this because these were 225. Now they're 226 for the camel's chunky. That is up from $1.98 a can. They were the cheapest there for a while, a little over a month ago. I will say, too, if you're getting the cream of soups, they are $1.26 a can. See, up a penny. Up that penny. They love adding that penny. Um, $0.58 cents for the cream of mushroom and the cream of chicken, uh, which I argue is just as good as Campbell's, maybe better. The only problem that I have, 
is that they don't ever have cream of celery. So it's like if you're making chicken, if you're making chicken noodle soup like me, and you need cream of celery, they don't have it. So uh, you do have to go to another store. Um, I usually when I find it, I buy up a couple cans of of Campbell's. You know, if it's on sale or something, that way I know I have it in the cupboard. And then when I come to Aldi, I'll get whatever else I need. Well, somebody asked about this German soup here, the Harvest Potato Soup. It's I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Um, they do have it in here. It is two seventy nine a can. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since somebody commented on that, but I just I just noticed that. So uh, if you're still having trouble finding it, check out Aldi. Well, I guess you would have to check out Aldi because it's the only place that sells it that I know of. They are getting some spaghetti back in here. Now these are the two pound of the Regana spaghetti. These were $1.79, up $1.84, up $0.05. Cents. Um, let's see, $0.92 cents for the Rotini. That's the same price. Wow, Hamburger Helper here, $1.71. You can tell that the boxes are a lot tinier than they used to be. Uh, I'm not a fan of Hamburger Helper anymore. They change the ingredients. It just don't taste the same anymore. Uh, now, we've gotten, com we've gotten good and bad comments on the shells and cheese. Somebody said it tastes like Velveeta. Somebody said it tastes nothing like Velveeta. Uh, they are $1.45 a box. These prices have not changed in a while. Guys, that was our trip to Aldi today. I hope I was able to see a lot of the things that you guys have left in the comments. Uh, it looks like prices continue to go up here. Uh, hopefully, they at least level off or start to go down at some point. I know we've been getting comments of, you know, gas is dropping, so... I don't understand why food prices aren't starting to drop. You know, they, they raised the prices so fast once we knew that pri uh, gas prices were starting to skyrocket, but they're very slow to bring them down. So we'll just have to see. Aldi is a store that does a good job of when they can get those prices down, they're going to because they want you to continue to shop here and be the best prices. But guys, thank you so much for watching today. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.